study program there is two main branches of studies. I chose uh, animation and NVFX. I just wanted to work with something creative so after knowing about like film creation and animation creation uh, I figured out that I really really enjoy 3D modeling and for now I know that I really want to work as a 3D model. I know that there is a possibility to use a uh, green screen room or motion capture room for animators. Also, they have a professional sound studio, which I saw the equipment and I used myself, so it was really, really good. So the, the quality of the sound that we can get from it is like professional quality. I was always interested in math and science-related uh, things, uh, so choosing programming wasn't really difficult for me. One thing that led me to actually joining this program was uh, basically in to want, I guess, to see Korea. You know that I'm from different country, so I was like interested to studying in abroad, and I thought like that would be interesting, like studying two years in Lithuania and like another two years in South Korea. I thought that would be a good opportunity for me to like, get into game projects and game development. I guess that was the major thing that why I chose this program. My graduation project is animation story about about uh, overthinking and exa exaggeration of problems. Me and my teammates were noticed that it's a lot of people overthink very, very little problems and they tend to uh, worry about it, about them too much. So we want to show off this problem and to show that it, you know, people shouldn't really act like this and it would be so much easier to live without overthinking. So it's a very good experience to to understand how how hard it is to create good quality movies, so we are learning that. We are developing a mobile game. We are mostly working in the lab since like we are two people. We need to be together most of the time, so we are using like the university's facilities very often for that. So we were thinking about a game idea, so we came with an idea that like combines two different genres, augmented reality and 3D puzzle genre. And so far we are doing good, I guess. And we are hoping to publish it soon. Uh, my situation is a bit different since I'm working on my graduation project alone. Uh, but I think it's really interesting because you study the subject you're really interested in and you're really into. And my project is uh, AI-based, as I mentioned. Yeah, I think it's a great uh, opportunity for us to actually, uh, at the same time, study subjects and work on your graduation project basically just gathering all the knowledge you can from the lectures and at the same time improving your uh, graduation project with all the knowledge you get. The company was working on basically marine time uh, objects. So I was part of the research and development team working on new software and it was actually really good. I got a lot of experience in working with uh, various systems like GPS systems, AIS systems, other devices, even connect the AI models to, to the software, which is really good. I think a lot of, I gained a lot of experience. After graduation, uh, I think I would like to, uh, to get into Korea's industry at least for a few years to try out and see like how how is it going for me yeah i guess i guess I would, I would like to start as a like xr developer or like game developer uh, in a like maybe korea so it would be interesting to get some experience here i'm more looking into like the software engineering part uh, something related to ai and uh, yeah maybe even i was thinking about prosthetic uh, limb engineering it uses AI. It's one of the subjects that I'm interested in, and um, it's like a passion, passion project of mine. Our portfolio kind of depends to the position that you would like to work in the future, I guess. For example, for me, I would like to work as an exact developer. So I'm building like 
some AR VR applications mostly for my portfolio. I tend to uh, lean towards AI development, so I spend a lot of time in, in developing AI in projects, and I think it's really good because you gain experience, which is going to be useful for you in the future, especially in your, to further your career. For my portfolio, it's pretty straightforward. As a 3D modeler, I have to create 3D models and to showcase them. I, I have to decide what I want to create and how I will create it by myself. One of the biggest benefits of taking classes is that the amount of students is like really small, so you can always get like personal attention from professor, especially while working with uh, like graduation project and portfolio, which is like very important.